that's nothing. I can do, and I'm about to do, a three-course dinner party for six in under half an hour. I've got people arriving in, <laughs> in 45 minutes, and I know that I can cook the three courses, lay the table, get myself ready in well under that time. So start the clock. If you're going to do a three-course meal in 30 minutes, you need a strategy. And mine is, think of the shortcut ingredient. I'm making an instant chocolate mousse. Makes sense to start with pudding. They can stay in the fridge until we're ready to eat them. And the shortcut ingredient here are mini marshmallows. I've got 150 grams of mini marshmallows. And what these do is mean that you don't have to worry about eggs, no beating, no whisking, no separating, no nothing. Not bothering with sugar either, actually. But that's by the by. So on top of the marshmallows, I want 50 grams of unsalted butter, nice and soft. And then another sterling shortcut ingredient, little chocolate buttons or chips, instead of a bar that I have to chop up myself. Not that I want to paint myself as an entirely lazy creature, but every little helps. I want 250 grams of chocolate buttons or chips dark chocolate. Now some water, about four tablespoons, from a recently boiled kettle. Heat on with a stir and these can melt together. Mm. The marshmallows will be the last to melt but that doesn't matter. And what the marshmallows give is that sort of soft squidginess like the interior of a meringue and that turns this into chocolate mousse. I rather love it when it's striated with a bit of white, so don't worry if the marshmallows stay visible. This has now delectably melted, so I'll leave it here to cool a little while I beat a 284 milliliter tub of cream with a teaspoon of vanilla. to whisk the cream until it forms firm peaks. Right, cream is whisked. Now it's just a case of folding the chocolate mixture into the cream. Pour, oh, I could eat it just like this, to be honest. The useful thing about serving something like a mousse, which is eaten cold, is that when you've finished your main course, you don't have to rush up and start fussing over the stove. You just glide serenely to the fridge and bring out these dark beauties. And unlike a regular mousse, which needs a good six hours to set, I mean, these will be ready to eat in five minutes, if not now. So pudding's dealt with. Don't worry if you cannot produce the perfect swirl. I mean, I can't. Whatever, they look so beautiful. That's my glasses filled up. Mm. I think a little final adornment would be rather beautiful. And I've got some white chocolate to grate over them. Don't need much. So that's pudding done. Bang on schedule. I shall get on with the starter now. <laughs>